Hi YouTubers, uh, it's another video on the HTC One X. Uh, I've had this device for about six weeks now. As you know, I'm not a great fan of HTC Sense on this particular device. Uh, previous devices uh, I found it okay. It's a bit laggy, a bit buggy, so I've uh, tended to use Apex Launcher. I've been playing and tweaking around with it, putting different widgets on it, uh, changing the appearance and doing different things, and I thought I'd make this video quickly to show you some of uh, the tweaks and things that i found that are quite useful that you might like. Uh, quickly flick through all the screens. I've got five screens active at the moment. I've got my main screen as the first screen. Uh, as you can see at the bottom, all my uh, icons are white. Uh, none of them have got any colour in. The theme's fairly, fairly basic. The background wallpaper is not the one I normally use, but I've got quite a dark uh, live wallpaper just to show you uh, how the icons and the invisible backgrounds and everything on the widgets actually work, so I'll quickly uh, scroll across. I've got an agenda widget on the next screen, which is basically a calendar widget. Uh, so we click on uh, the side there, it takes it to calendar, it's quite a small uh, icon at the top there, so click back and forth. So it's basically a calendar and your agenda widget. This particular widget comes in a pack uh, called Android Pro Widgets, it's free on the market. Uh, another thing of Android Pro Widgets, it's got multiple widgets that you can load on. All these widgets that you can actually see that I've got on the screens are also within the pack. The timeline widget that's in the uh, APW pack is actually basically a copy of Friendstream on uh, Sense UI. Now, if you're coming over from uh, Sense and you, you, you're not particularly keen on using Sense, but you want AP, uh, Apex Launcher, I should say, uh, most of the things that you're using on Sense you can replicate and you can, you can get them exactly the same. As you can see, it's very, very fluid. As fast as I can actually scroll across without actually clicking on something and activating it, it, uh, it just won't slow down. It's, it's not laggy, buggy in any way. Likewise with the app drawer, same again, if I flick across without trying to catch an icon so it flicks on. As fast as I can flick them, it, it really will take them that quick. Moving on again, I'll just explain a few things that I've actually done on this. So same again, same what I was saying earlier, I've got five screens that are actually there. I've got my main screen, I've got my friend's screen copy if you like, that's that side which you can jump in and out of, you can add to it, you can write on it. The other side I've got my agenda, calendar and a few uh, shortcuts along the bottom. I've got an all items thing which uh, aggregates basically uh, news on your Google Reader. So it pulls all my news feeds through, links them to a short uh, uh, reader. If you want to go further, you can actually go to the web page from there. On the screen, two screens to the left from my main screen. So there's my main screen. I've got one, two. I've got all my folders of all the apps that uh, I use frequently, and I've actually got them. Uh, named in different folders so I know where they are. Instead of having different folders on every screen, I've just got them on one screen. I've got social, cloud storage, printers, office, voice over internet protocol, media, Google, browser and mail, news, games and settings and everything's sort of quite easy to get to on this uh, folder. Now the only problem with having everything on one screen is when you go back across two screens, obviously if you want to play a game you whizzing across to two screens. With an Apex launcher you get the option to actually use shortcuts that are in the Apex Launcher. So it gives you little icons that you can put on any screen. Uh, they come standard circular with uh, their own names on. So for instance, this little icon on the bottom left hand corner that I've renamed folders and I've changed the icon to a little folder icon was actually a circular icon with a number one under it which, which symbolized uh, screen one. So what I've done now, if you can see how quick it is, if I click on that now, that takes me straight to screen one. If I click back on the home, it, it takes me instantly back to the home. So if I want to get to my folders, it's, it's a quick flick from one screen to another. Very, very quick, much quicker than I can actually flick across with my finger. So I find that quite handy and useful to use. I'm using uh, beautiful home widgets, as I said previously, on the top. So click on the time, it takes us to the normal HTC uh, time uh, interface so you've got world clock alarm stopwatch timer you've got your globe at the top with the weather you can actually play around with and you've got the 3d effect which is uh, obviously HTC go back again we've got a 3d weather uh, icon that pops up with the five days weather the weather on the side and obviously you can get to uh, internet weather forecast from here and different things you can refresh etc etc at the top we've got the time we've done that one we've got the time we've got the weather and on the other side on the left hand side we've actually got uh, a link into your uh, calendar widget or calendar application I should say and same again the 3D effect that you can uh, scroll across so you can get back out so everything on the beautiful home screen links into other things 
Further down the screen we've got the uh, AIVC which is the voice uh, application that I've covered in another video. Further down we've covered the folders that I've uh, just showed you quickly. Looking at the bottom in the taskbar in Apex you're allowed to put uh, widgets within the taskbar at the bottom as providing their 1.1 size and they match up to the other widgets. So if I quickly press on this one which is another free one on the, off the mark and I'll name all these in the, uh, the right up below. This is basically a brightness, uh, quick uh, screen to your brightness. So you've got your basic brightness at the top you can flick back and forward. The overlay again is pretty much ice cream sandwich with the ice cream sandwich colours. You've got your auto brightness which dims it down. It just took us to an auto brightness there. Click back on it. Auto brightness off. And then you've got your presets. So you've got a sunny day, cloudy day, night time and interior. Uh, we'll keep it up to the max for this uh, video just so we can see what we're doing. Top of the screen uh, on the pull down menu. You can see we've got a few uh, items that again are free on the market that you can integrate, integrate quite easy. We've got battery status bar which is this one here which shows your battery status and we've also got a notification toggle bar on the top that again is free on the market. I'll put all the uh, links in the annotations below uh, so you can read through them. Uh, looking at the icons that you've got in this particular section you can have as many icons as you want in the section you can change them. These are the ones I use frequently so I've got uh, screen orientation on or off, uh, Wi-Fi uh, tethering, camera, music application that you can click on. Very fast in and out your music application. It doesn't show at the top like it normally does. So. If you want to go into the music application from there you can do. This is actually the Google Play version of uh, music. I've got the other standard one on as well but this one links with all my stuff on my uh, PC etc etc. So we pause that there, we can close that there so it's gone so you can play, you can, you can jump tracks, or you can close and just close it all together. Now I'll quickly show you some of the uh, things that you can do within these uh, uh, different uh, battery status and uh, quick uh, toggle notifications on the top of the screen. If you quick click on the battery status it brings up uh, a, a, an actual uh, screen that you can change things. So you can turn it on, turn it on. You can look for other apps made by the uh, the app writer. You can go into settings, and within settings, you've got multiple usage that you can use. You can have battery level. You can show the health of the battery, the voltage of the battery, temperature, centigrade, Fahrenheit, state of the battery, technology of the battery, what type of battery you've actually got inside your phone. You can change the color of the little icon that shows up in the top bar. So if you look at the top bar now, it's very very small. But if I pull it down. There's 43% left on my battery, a state at the moment not charging, unplugged, temperature, etc, etc. So if we throw that away, you can actually see it's a small icon on the top, but you can change all that and you can change all the different things. So there's lots of things you can customise there. If we get out of that and I go across to my folders, I'll show you quickly the settings of the notification bar. Within the notification bar, you can have two notification setting bars at the top. So you can have a first notification, a second notification, you can choose whatever you want to go in them. Uh, if you toggle across you can add apps and add shortcuts, you can change the icon colours, you can down alternative icons or you can uh, change the toggle order on the top of the screen so which you want on the top and the bottom. To add anything else onto any other of the uh, bars that you've got there, if you go to the first notification, click on it, it disables the both when you first do it. So you've got all these things you can add in Anything basically on your phone that you want a shortcut to go to the top you can add in. Not just uh, main shortcuts, you can actually add apps, folders, so multiple things you can go from there. Once you get everything you want set up you just click save at the bottom. Same on the second notification bar, you go down there, you can add the same sort of uh, context, you can uh, add whatever you want in there. Go down to the bottom save. Then when you're back out of it you go to home screen, you pull them down, the ones you've saved in are saved on the top. Uh, right, moving on quickly, uh, I was going to show you quickly how to change all your icons on your home screens. You can change them on your home screens and in your folders to uh, different icons and different colour schemes. When you put Apex Launcher on uh, your device, all the themes within the app market, I'll quickly go themes, as I've said in the previous video, if you have a look, I've got my double tap set now to take me through excuse me, take me straight into settings for my Apex Launcher. So it'll take me straight into settings where I can get to the standard settings for the phone, which are the system settings, the Apex settings, 
notification search, manage app. So take me through most things you use normally, or you can use the drop down one from the top for the standard ones that are in the phone. If I go into theme settings, you'll notice that all these theme packs that I've got on are by different uh, launchers. So you've got ADW launcher and all these Go launcher settings. Now within all these packs, each one has a list of icon packs. Now at the top of the screen, I'm using the default uh, Apex launcher pack. So I've got the default icon pack, default skin, and default font. So we go out of that, and if I go down, I'll just do one for instance, because it's quite easy. Now Play Store, if I long press on Play Store, and you get an option then, like you do with all your icons, you can remove it, you can edit it, you can get the app info, or you can share it with other people. So if you go edit, brings you to the screen. So you can change the name of it from Play Store to anything else you want, but if you touch the icon itself, it then gives you a list of options. You can use the default icon, so if you click on the default icon, it'll bring us back to that. So we're on the default Play Store icon now that is the same as in the app drawer. So if we go through the app drawer and we look for it, that would be the icon that you can see. If I long press on it again, because I want all my icons a similar colour, so I basically want them all white and uh, looking fairly tidy. So if I go edit again, click on the icon again, and if at the bottom of the screen you can see there, select from icon pack. So if I click on that... It now shows me every single pack that I've got installed on the phone as an icon pack. Now, the, the particular pack I'm using at the moment for all these clear white uh, cover icons is this particular one. So all we've got to do now is find an icon within the folder of icons, any icon we want. So there's, there's hundreds and hundreds. Basically, everything you can think of is covered in here. So you really, you need to scroll around. And you, to be honest, you have to root around to find... Uh, the right one that covers the usage that you want uh, which might and you can see actually now we've got three icons for the app store uh, the Google Play Store uh, we've got the one with the little play arrow we've got the little case that used to be the old uh, icon so we'll pick that one I think that's the one I had before and go OK now that icon changes back to the one I've got now it's Play Store the same name uh, likewise on the other ones so I've got me Google Chrome uh, exactly the same thing Hold on Google Chrome, edit the app, uh, edit the icon, use the default icon and go OK. So that's put that back to the Google Chrome icon. If you wanted to change all your folders and you want all your folders to look exactly the same, so when you open a folder, the, the apps that are in the folders actually change to be in the same as I've just shown you on a standard screen. If you do the same thing within the folder and go edit and same again, and select from the icon pack and we'll use the same pack at the top. And now we're looking for a Google Plus. Uh, you think these would be in alphabetical order, but often they're not. So, I don't know there's Google Plus ones in here because I've actually seen them. Oh, right. I'll probably have to root around for that after, but it is in here because I've actually changed it before to... Uh, you're probably all screaming at the screen, you've passed it, you've passed it, but to be honest, uh, it's not... There we go. Right, so Google+, Plus, the three icons again for Google+, Plus. so pick that one there and go OK. And you can see within the app, the folder, it does actually change. It's, as you're looking into the folder itself, it will change and it'll, it'll change to uh, the same icon. So within the folder... You could drag that out now, for instance. Let's see, let's get oh, where can we put it? Uh, if we could get that uh, particular... Let's drop, try and drop it in another folder, see what that does. All right, that seems to have done the trick. So we'll drag that back out and drop it in that one. And now you can see within the folder it's gone to the same colour and actually when you minimise it back down it's the same colour again. So you, you've got to mess around and do a few bits and bobs and there, is, uh, there are tweaks that you'll have to get used to doing. But basically that's uh, some of the tweaks I've uh, got for you today and I wanted to show you. So, as I was saying before, very, very fast. Transitions are quite quick. Uh, as I said, brightness level, beautiful widgets, battery status... A few things that you might find interesting. Any uh, questions or anything you want to know, please uh, ask. If you want to subscribe, give me a like below and subscribe. And uh, any emails you send over or questions, I'll get back and answer. Thanks for watching.